Well, one particular project that I've been working on recently is called eMargin, which is a um, collaborative text annotation tool. It's more of an applied project, but it builds on our previous research on text processing and analysis. Um, basically, eMargin is an online collaborative annotation tool for electronic texts. So it's designed to be an electronic equivalent of the kind of um, notes that you'd scribble in the margins if you were reading a conventional printed text. So you might um, gradually uh, highlight or underline important themes or passages of the text and try and draw them together into some kind of overall analysis. But what we were trying to achieve with eMargin was to overcome some of the limitations of the traditional approach to text analysis in academic study, but also in general. Um, the fact that when you're annotating a printed text, for example, it becomes quite difficult to isolate the different threads of analysis as the page becomes more cluttered with handwritten notes, it becomes very difficult to, to read. But the big limitation increasingly is the growth of electronic texts and the fact that it's very difficult to annotate electronic texts effectively down to the level that you need for close reading for academic study. So with eMargin we decided to develop an online system which would allow you to annotate text through a standard web browser and then share your annotations with other people collaboratively and gradually build up an analysis of the text and discuss the analysis as you're going along with other, other students or with, with your teachers for example. Initially, eMargin was designed for the study of English literature, so analysis of poems and novels, that kind of thing. Um, but as it's been designed to be quite flexible and easy to use, we've found that gradually it's been used by people in other areas as well. Um, it's now got over 500 users worldwide in various different subject areas. And um, for example, um, it's being used at Lancaster University to um, analyze metaphor in medical texts, so in discussions between doctors and patients to see how they approach the issue of death and dying through metaphorical language use. We're also looking into how we can use eMargin to um, assess students more effectively, so to mark student work online electronically and to share the comments that way and to see and to get a better idea of student progress um, using electronic means. And we're always looking for new users for eMargin. The most recent um, group that we're looking at now is actors in rehearsal. So actors will be able to annotate their scripts in rehearsals using eMargin on iPads, for example. So we're developing, um, we've already developed a new e um, iPad compatible version of eMargin. And now we're developing new functions which will be more suitable for use for actors. So they, they require slightly different things than other existing users. So it's, it's always an ongoing process, we're adding new features as new users request them and trying to move into different areas. <laughs>